All right, folks. It's showtime. It, I'm back. <laughs> oh, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Back with, uh, I don't know what you would call this, conversations in Coach Bird's subdivision. <laughs> Out of everything we do, it's so crazy to me that people people email in and say the number one thing they enjoy are these these coaching sessions or these long sessions I do walking around my subdivision. Well, tonight I've got a very specific topic. It's called I'm looking for Navy SEALs, not baby SEALs. Okay, and and let me tell you, I go this way because that car's backing out. I have a certain belief. Okay, it's a little windy out tonight, so bear with me. And I believe that work, what you do for a living, can be and actually should be the distribution channel for your talents. I believe that you were given certain talents and abilities and that work can become your vocation versus your occupation, i.e. you can find your voice through your work. So I believe occupation is that which occupies your time and which you receive a paycheck for. So there's probably many of you that are watching this or will watch this on YouTube or my Facebook page or anything like that. And you're going to say, man, I just get up and go to work. And it's just a job to me. It's all it is. It's just a way to make money. Well, well, I, I believe work can be the distribution channel, meaning you've got certain talents. You distribute those talents through your work. And then the world rewards you in the form of love and appreciation and self-satisfaction. The, the, the internal satisfaction of pursuing your potential. That's the prey drive activator. So, coming next week on Tuesday night, I am hosting a job fair. And... I'm not putting specifics on what I'm looking for, although I know I'm looking for administrative, sales professionals, follow-up professionals, potential call center, uh, potential people to run my greatness factory in Nashville, strategic partners, anybody out there, if you've ever had an inkling of saying, man, I want to work with Coach Burt or do what Coach Burt does or be around the the Michael Burt Enterprise family, I'm... I'm I know there's a bigger calling for me. I know I'm supposed to be doing something at a higher frequency. I, I want to work in a fast-paced environment. I'm excited about doing I want to be in a high prey drive environment. Then you need to be there. Or you need to email in and say, I can't be there, but I want to do a Zoom. Because I'm looking for Navy SEALs, not Baby SEALs, folks. Now, what does that mean? For you to work with a guy like me who has the kind of ambition and prey drive and 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 goals to do big, big, gigantic things in the world, there's some qualifications. One, you gotta come with batteries included. Two, you gotta believe that everybody needs a coach in life. Three, you gotta show up early, probably stay late. Four, you gotta you gotta bring your A game every day. We don't whine, we don't complain, we don't make excuses. You gotta believe that, that uh, in going pro. Right? And leaving your amateur desires behind. You gotta believe in growing the whole person. You gotta believe that you wanna be in an environment where there's accountability and structure. To work with me, these are some things you gotta believe. Now, if you don't believe those things, it's okay. It doesn't make me right and you wrong, by the way. It just means we probably don't need to work together. But I can tell you as we grow, we're producing leads that people need to work. Strategic partnerships that need to be cultivated. Um, events that need to be worked, follow up and extraction of new business from those events. Uh, I'm, I'm looking for an admin assistant to help me with the various enterprises that I have. The, I mean, here's what I look for. I look for the right people first. Then I put them in the right seat. We will find the right seat for you. And if we put you in a seat that's the wrong seat, then we'll come back and put you in another seat if it's the right fit. So, this time of year is a time of new beginning. That's what January means. January came from the Greek goddess Janus. New start, new beginning. So you may be out there in the world and you may be, man, I need a new start. I don't want to work with Coach Burt, but I, I want to work with Coach Burt. 
I want to be involved in what he's got going on. I want to have a space at that new greatness factor. I had a WFG person reach out to me last night, New Year's Eve. I was still working him at 10 o'clock at night. I said, man, I want to be in that new greatness factory with you. I said, all right, here you go. You can work from the greatness factory. You can have a permanent office in the greatness factory. You can train at the greatness factory. You can use the podcast studio at the greatness factory. It will become the premier hub of exchange. So if you're out there and you're like, man, I just want to be associated with what coach has got going on. You may be an independent contractor. You may be a specialist. You may be a person that we use to put together partnerships. You may be a person that we use to follow up. You may be a person we use in our call center, our, our events team, who knows? Or you may say, I don't want to work with Coach Burt, but I do want to get involved in my potential this year. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get serious about my potential. I want to I want to lose weight. Therefore, I want to be involved in the Monster Health Division. I want to uh, get my income up. Therefore, I want to be a monster producer. I want to write a book. We just signed a person just literally just a few minutes ago that is going to write a book with our publishing division. Hello. Hello. Happy New Year. And, you know, we're, we're doing about eight to ten books a month. So you may be out there saying, man, I'm ready to go pro, folks. And, and it may not mean leaving the work I'm doing to come and work with Coach, but it does mean get myself together, man. All four parts of my nature. So body, monster health. Mind, monster producer. Okay, you may say, man, I wanna activate my prey drive like I've never activated it before. So I wanna go to that boot camp with Coach coming up. He's got one this week, by the way, this coming week. The 6th and the 7th. Then I got a virtual boot camp on the 20th. And that may be right for you if you just kind of want to dip your toes in and see if I can help you. If you want to be a person of interest, I got that coming up in February. Man, we just got all kinds of things over the last 28 years where we've been helping people. We're now starting to figure out, like, this is where people need help. They need help generating opportunity. They need help overcoming their fears. They need help following up. They need help in closing deals. They need help in making money, right? They need help in extracting referrals. They need help in becoming people of interest. They need help in writing books. So basically I've built my family of companies um, to where we can help you in all of those areas. But it starts with the freaking decision, man. Okay, I was overall very satisfied with my 2020. I was I was satisfied with my revenue number. Uh, I was satisfied with my actual collections of money this year. I was satisfied with the profit margin, of which we're operating on, especially the last three to four months of the year. I was satisfied with how hard we pushed. I was satisfied we have two, two of the biggest months in our coaching career. Satisfied with how we finished December, I thought we could have pushed a little bit harder, although we pushed right up until the bell to get some deals across the finish line. Uh, very satisfied with our publishing division. See a lot of potential with our health division. So overall, I would give us a seven. Thought we started off a little rocky. Thought we hit a few bumps along the way early in the year. Thought we got a little stale around March. And uh, then I thought we took it to another level and probably found another gear. The prey drive was activated, signed a major publishing deal with McGraw-Hill. Uh, was one of the only speakers and coaches that continued to do events throughout the year, even during a national pandemic. Created new products and services. Uh, opened up a greatness factory, something I've been talking about doing for the last four or five years. Like, man, as I'm sitting here talking to you about it, I feel like I should be real satisfied, to be honest with you. But you know, a guy like me, you're never satisfied unless we're pursuing something real, real big. You can't call yourself a legendary creature. That's really the concept of monster producer, unless you're pursuing gigantic things, man. Okay, so, so if you're out there and you're wondering what is my philosophy, my philosophy is simple. You need a coach in your life. With a good coach that's trained, you're gonna operate at a much higher frequency. You're gonna play at a higher level. You're gonna earn more income. Your, your dreamer's gonna be opened up. Your prey drive's gonna be activated. Your goals are gonna be accelerated. Only a fool would think they should do it on their own, folks.
Now, imagine working in an environment like that every day where you are being pushed and challenged and your muscles are being worked and, and you don't think you can do it, but you figure out you can do it and you're stretched and you grow and man, that that is an environment. If you're looking for that environment, you need to you need to come apply for one of our positions. And like I said, I don't have it all worked out. Here's all I know. I'm looking for good, hungry Navy SEALs, not baby SEALs. I'm not looking for anybody that whines, anybody that complains, anybody that don't want to put the work in, anybody that don't don't believe in the value of a coach, out on any of those folks. I'm in on folks that go, oh yeah, I've been looking for a challenge. I've been looking to maximize my potential. Doesn't matter to me either, to folks, young, old, don't matter. High prey drive included. That's what we're looking for. So let's finish up with a few concepts. Hello. Hey. Here's the concept we're gonna finish up with. When it comes to your your future, finishing up, starting right. I want to challenge you. How many times have you told yourself you're gonna break a habit? How many times you told yourself you're gonna make more money? How many times you told yourself you're gonna write a book? How many times you told yourself that there's other people that, not, that well, they're not a bit better than you, that are outperforming you? How many times have you looked at somebody and said, man, that person must be smarter than me, but I know they're not smarter than me. When does that cycle end, man? Does it end in 2021? Does it end in 2030? Does it end when you're 70? When do you stop telling yourself you got a lot of potential and start manifesting that potential? When do you start working the muscle? See, this this is, right? And trust me, it's gonna scare you. Me building this greatness factory out, new concept, I'm excited and scared at the same time. I believe it can work. I believe we're gonna license these things quickly. I believe they're gonna be all over the world. I believe that uh, I believe that we're going to raise capital this this coming year. There's a lot of things I believe, right? And I'm just excited more than anything. I'm excited and and scared at the same time, and I think that's normal. But I do know this: I'll be 45 in 2021, and I want to accomplish a lot before 50. A whole lot. So I hope we partner. I hope you see the value in partner with me. I hope you see, hey, you may want to join my team. Like I said, you may want to sell our online academy. You may want to sell Monster Producer. You may want to be involved in my retreat or event division. You may want to leave my corporate division. You may want to come in and, I don't know, what whatever it is you think you can do, help us become better at marketing and promotion. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm opening the doors saying whoever's interested, Tuesday night, January 5th at the Greatness Factory. If you can't come in for some reason, say, man, I'm interested. Megan at CoachBert.com. Megan at CoachBert.com. I got some specific people I'm looking for. But who knows? You may surprise me. You may be one of those people, by the way. You may say, Coach, you are talking to me. I'm in a job, but it's a dead-end job. Be involved in something dynamic. I want to be involved in something exciting. I want to be in something that taps into my potential. I want to be in, I want to do something bigger. That was me at 28, 29 years old. 30 years old. I just won a championship as a high school basketball coach, but I'm, but I'm, I can't I know there's a bigger place for me. And thank goodness it was through affirmation and kind of working the muscle. People kept telling me, man, you could do this. You could go out on the circuit. You could write books. You could you could speak. You could train. You could coach. You could have online academies. You could license things. Right? That's what people were telling me. And just, just through the pure power of association and exposure, had those people kind of begin to encourage and inspire me. If you're around me every day, there's no way you can't think bigger. There's no way your prey drive can't be on high. There's no way you're going to want to do something small. I'm telling you, folks. Trust me. So, let me close it out with this. When do you stop telling... When do you stop lying to yourself? When do you start following through? 
and when when you see a person that you know can help you when are you going to reach out to that person and say man i want to be involved with you maybe it's in your coaching program maybe it's at a boot camp maybe it's at your lodge maybe it maybe it's through a strategy session but i know you're a guy that can help me play at a higher level when do, when do you take the action is it next year when do you when do you go work out and get in great shape when do you get your nutrition right when do you get your money right when do you pursue your dreams man that's what tonight's about just me and you talking about bigger futures it's something i love talking about it's friday right it's january 1st folks friday january 1st it's windy it's kind of crazy because it's 70 degrees in tennessee I got a feeling it's gonna come a good rain tomorrow though because uh because you don't see wind like this at 70 degrees in january in tennessee when do you live in the house of your dreams when do you when do you you know get 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 the private jet when do you open up the store you're supposed to one of the last coaching sessions i did with my monster producers the whole month of December was about uh, strategy, right? Cultivating a strategy. And I did a session about what you're not, no longer going to tolerate, right? It's like I'm done, man. It's my, it's my no messing around file. And I remember sitting on a Southwest plane one night, miserable person beside me sitting in my lap, their lap. Person on this side said, this dude over here is eating chicken wings on a friggin'. Southwest playing with barbecue sauce all over his face. I'm thinking, who does that, man? And I just wrote down on a, on my iPad, tired of effing around, file, man. Tired of flying like this. Tired of working like this. Tired of being exhausted. Tired of, I'm tired of it. What am I going to do? Boom. To fly private. What am I going to do to, to work my schedule where people come to me at my lodge or my house in Florida what am I going to do to get a thousand monster producers or ten thousand what am I going to do to, to build passive income what am I going to do and you need moments like that it's like mm, tired of messing around man sick of it if you don't have those moments folks you accept it you know how long you accept it forever I'm saying people 70 years old still got potential just accept it it's like hey you know i could have done something big but i didn't so maybe i'm talking to you tonight this conversations with coach navy seals not baby seals maybe maybe you're out there and you're going man i'm on the wrong bus I'm doing the wrong thing i got talent potential but i'm scared i don't know how to make it work well and i gotta take a step back what's up bennett how you doing Good. Maybe I'm talking to you there, right? And you're like, Coach is right, man. He's talking to me. So, whatever it is, it's January 1. Title of this talk tonight. Hello, man. Is Navy SEALs, not Baby SEALs. Email Megan at CoachBert.com if you want to come to the job fair on tuesday night at the greatness factor or if you're interested in us doing a strategy session email coach at coachbert.com if you want to get involved in one of my coaching programs you want to step up do something big some of you need to get on a plane swim walk crawl whatever you got to do to get to flip the switch next wednesday and thursday because i'm going deep on that concept folks i'm gonna open i'm gonna i'm gonna awaken some people's spirits like you can't imagine I sit down one night at the lodge when I was off for Christmas in an inspired state at 11 o'clock at night. And I drew up the curriculum for Flip the Switch. And man, it, it, it addresses. It addresses exactly what it needs to address to get you to activate that drive in you folks. So let's make a file. Tired of effing around file. Ready to work with coach file. Tired of playing my potential file. Who's in? Okay, if you want to be in a program, coach at coachbert.com. If you want to work with me, Megan at coachbert.com. I'll see you Tuesday night. I'm looking for Navy SEALs, not Baby SEALs.